Hi, this is Mark with safedaytrading.org. And if you'd like to get free information on how to safely trade day trading activities, stop in and get free information at safedaytrading.org. Again, that's safedaytrading.org. Hi, this is Mark Stowers with Safe Day Trading. And today with me I have back uh, Anthony Denier, who is the CEO of Weeble. Hey, Anthony, how are you? Hey, Mark, thanks for having me back. You know, it's great talking to you last time. Learn a lot of stuff, but uh, one of the things that I've been hearing a lot of on the streets is, you know, these young retailer, uh, these young investors that are, you know, buying retail like on Robinhood and Weeble. I mean, what is the phenomena uh, that's going on? Yeah, I mean, there's there's quite a few things going on. Uh, it's not just it's not just one easy answer. Uh, it's a combination that creates a perfect storm. Uh, the most obvious thing is is the pandemic, is the lockdown. Um, people have more time. Uh, a lot of people actually don't have jobs. Uh, so, you know, if you're if you if you have money sitting in a checking account that's earning zero interest, or even in a savings account with interest rates essentially at zero, um, you know, you're losing out to inflation. So smart people are getting active. They're watching the news and seeing every day we're making new highs. I mean, at the time we're, we're doing this recording now, uh, we're making new all-time highs as we speak. Again, for probably the third time in the past week. Um, you know, and, and people realize that. And, you know, if you're not actively making, you know, good financial decisions, then, you know, then you're missing the boat. And so young people realize that, and they are utilizing the tools that they have available to them that, that we never had, or my generation and your generation, Mark, never had at their fingertips, which is, you know, uh, downloadable apps uh, for trading, right? Instantaneous gratification, right? The ability to download an app, open a brokerage account, fund that account, and trade probably all within three to five minutes, right? Um, yep. the, ability, the ability to learn. So you go to YouTube and you want to learn, you know, how to, you know, how to trade in specific styles, how to scalp trade, you know, exactly how to day trade. And, you know, there's a lot of snake oil salesmen out there, but there's a lot of content out there too. So, you know, there's a lot of different factors, and it's causing a nice big wave of new investors coming into the market. Do you see that, I mean, yeah, I understand the mobile phenomenon because, you know, over the last four or five years, everybody's been trading mobile. Do you see this becoming, uh, you know, a, a, a trend, a, a real solid big trend, um, being mobile, trading mobily? I, I know, you know, we, we, we spoke about this, you know, before and, you know, you're not, yeah. you're not convinced yet of, of mobile trading, but I am. And, you know, you ask, do you think this is, a, this is not only the trend, I believe this is the future. Uh, everything okay. is going, to, is going to be off of the PC onto a personal device of some support that's mobile and transportable. Uh, it, it, this is just the beginning of the wave. We have another super, super cycle coming out with the implementation of 5G, which is going to be able to change the experience of trading from as we know it now to something much more visual and much more graphic. Um, and it'll, it'll only get better. Do you, uh, you know, I, I, the re only reason I don't like mobile is because of my my vision uh, capabilities. But the question, I guess, the question comes with, with the younger retail uh, traders. Are you seeing um, a significant amount of cash, or is it just really a smaller dollar amount? Yeah. So I mean, with, with yeah, to give to give your listeners a, a little reference, I mean, the average the average age of a Weeble user. Uh, is in their later 20s, right? And the average age of, say, a Fidelity user would be in their later to, to mid-50s. So, um, 
a, ver a very different demographic. And with that difference, obviously, comes very different um, asset levels and accounts. So, you know, the average, I think Robinhood came out and said their average, um, their average account size lives around 2,000. Weevil's a little healthier than that. We're probably closer to about 3,000 per account. But that's very small in the brokerage world. When you look at an average E-Trade account, you're talking like 15, probably 20,000. Yeah, I, I was kind of wondering. The other question I have, too, about the younger traders is their uh, knowledge level. Do you, how do you see that? Right. So, you know, with the younger investors, uh, obviously comes, you know, inexperience, uh, just, you know, just on a time-based scale. Uh, we do, at, we spend a lot of time at Weeble having to educate our users uh, on you know the different you know the different tools that we have uh, the different rules in trading and obviously you know there's many regulations that limit the amount of trades uh, that you can do uh, and so we actually spend quite a bit of time and effort in you know in our app and on our on our platforms uh, through the web and through downloadable PC to educate the users on you know on these different rules and different tools that they can use to get to you know certain results. Now you know we don't recommend securities, but you know we can say hey this is why you know this is why this stock is reacting. You can look at the short interest and, and you know get the recommendation that this is a short squeeze and explain exactly what a short squeeze is. Um, you know so. The list goes really on and on on you know on, on the growth of younger traders, uh, but you know they're just beginning their journey, and you know we want to be a, a really positive tool to help them. Sure, sure. Um, the other thing that I found is that younger traders are much more aggressive. Have you seen that true? Um, Yes, I, I, I kind of agree with that. I, I think in general, but that goes with pretty much all things. <laughs> Maybe not just trading, but general decisions in life. Younger people tend tend to be a little riskier in everything they do. Uh, but at the yeah. same time, you, you know, even if you talk to seasoned financial pros, you know, they'll tell you the younger you are, the more speculative and the more risk, uh, you know, risk averse, you know, excuse me, the more risk uh, inviting you should be. Uh, because you know, obviously, you have more ter more time to make that back to your earnings. So you know, uh -huh. that, I think that's I think that's pretty typical. Yeah, I, I think so too. That's what I've seen too. Is that you you know the the risk takers are the younger ones, and you know if they don't succeed, they'll always come back. And uh, once they they grow back their base of cash, they're ready to try again. They're a little bit more knowledgeable, right? Exactly right. Exactly right. I mean, uh, and not just you know, not just in trading, uh, in everything, they can fight another day, right? Where mm -hmm. you know, probably someone, probably someone from my perspective, uh, I'm a little safer with with how I invest. Yeah, I would say. I mean, mine too. As they're a little bit more cautious the older they get, but uh, like you say, the younger ones, you know, they can they can fight another day. Um, yeah, my, my 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 stops are always a little closer to to the, to the to my entry price than I think some of our younger users are. Yeah, I've, I've seen some younger users that don't use stops, so <laughs> they let it roll. Um, yeah, you totally. see, so you see the this mobile thing. I mean, you see Weeble taking off on a mobile side. I agree with you too on the five G. I think the five G is going to change the whole game completely. Um, do you see that impact coming in the next year or two, or when do you see that starting? Well, it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, we've already started preparing uh, for the 5G rollout in terms of some of the products uh, that, we're, that we would like to implement on our mobile app, uh, and a lot of them are, are much more video-based. Video so, you know, as an example, um, you can look at, Currently, if you wanted to have an information block, you know, in a, in a little information tab pop up on, say, trailing stop, and you know, there's a little question mark where you can hit that says, "What is a trailing stop?" And right now, there's like a little text box that'll open up, and within a couple bullet points, it'll give you a general description of what a trailing stop does and what it is. But in the future, and what we're going to see different in 5G, hopefully within about a year from now, uh, they can be a little uh, descriptive video as well that'll play and actually show you how to enter 
using the app how to enter a trailing stop with a voiceover talking about exactly what it's doing. And it'll just be much more intuitive, much more user-friendly, and I think a lot more educational for our users. Yeah. So you're thinking in about a year or so that 5G is going to start hitting, hitting the marketplace? Oh, yeah. I mean, 5, 5G is already up and running uh, in a lot of Asia already. Um, yeah. You know, the U.S. is the U.S. is always a little slower to implement this stuff for a litany of reasons. But, but I'm hoping uh, with this time next year, absolutely. So you're really kind of looking at a, almost a revamp of the system, aren't you? Because of that, it's certainly going. It, yeah, I mean, it, it's not the system's not going to look different in a year from now. You'll start. You'll start to see some changes in a year. Um, yeah. But I would say probably in, in about five years. Trading on a mobile device will not look like it looks like now, right? There'll be a um, com completely different user interface, completely different user experience as people just become much more comfortable with interacting. Just think about in real time now what an app, mobile app looked like five years ago from today, right? A completely different experience. It was something that was almost like a gimmick. Um, that kind of fed off of whatever is available on the web. Maybe you can view your portfolio, but you couldn't make a trade. Uh, everything was very blocky and graphically unpleasant. Um, and now, you know, fast forward five years, and you have apps like Weeble, where you can basically do everything you could do on a PC, probably, and then some on your phone while you're commuting. Uh, it's only going to keep going and increase. Yeah, you, and uh, expectations of uh, the handheld uh, handheld device is going to grow as well, right? Yeah, the only thing I don't know, which, you know, anyone, probably someone smarter than me can answer is which way the devices are going to go. Because at one point they got big, then they got small again, then they got big again. It seems like now it's going to shrink again. I, I, I don't understand that trend that much, but time will tell. Yeah, well, time will tell, like you say. So um, when you look at what has happened now, now what do you, uh, I understand you're also bringing along um, a, uh, a desktop bundle for Weeble, is that right? Yeah, th thank you. Um, we released uh, what we call our fourth rendition or Weeble Desktop 4.0 uh, about a week ago. And yeah, thank you for bringing that up. And as a mobile company, Weeble has always I, I don't want to say um, I don't want to seem to uh, that we forgot about the desktop, but we really concentrated on mobile. And probably for the first six months that Weeble was open, uh, we didn't even have a desktop platform. Everything was mobile. You couldn't make a trade. You couldn't open an account on a website or a downloadable version. Uh, and as we grew, so did our user base and so did the demographic. And a lot of our users were just used to using something on their PC, something on their Mac, uh, and we just didn't have an offering. So we created one pretty quickly, uh, you know, to please some of those users and to give some more accessibility. Well, Weeble 4.0 is a product that we put a lot of energy, a lot of resources into, so we can have a dedicated desktop platform that can rival the Schwab's, Fidelity's, and E-Trades of the world. So customers don't have to settle for, you know, a, a, a lesser trading experience on their PC uh, because we're a mobile-first company. Uh, we, we wanted to get rid of that. And Weeble 4.0 is our kind of foray into, hey, you know, we're now competing with Schwab. We're now competing with E-Trade if you want to trade on a PC. Well, it seems to me that you've off, you're able to offer, especially now with the pandemic and all this stuff, the people that are staying at home, uh, you know, there's more people staying at home so they can sit in front of their laptop or their PC, whereas when they're on the go, they can use the mobile side of it too, right? Yeah, absolutely. With, you know, obviously less, less people commuting, uh, less people being active and staying home. Uh, the popularity of trading on our PC uh, platform has really increased, which is, 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 which is what, you know, really kind of kicked us into gear to get this right. Uh, and it pushed yeah. up the timeline, and we're very happy that we got it out uh, when we did. Uh, so we can, you know, we can take advantage and give a better product to people that are stuck and working from home. I'm going to ask you to stick your neck out, and what do you think is going to happen in third quarter of this year in terms of the marketplace? I mean, 
all we're seeing is these record-setting things going on um, in the S&P. Uh, what about other places? Yeah, so this market has been uh, pretty incredible uh, for a long time. And you know, you know, we have we have the big the big event is going to be the election. Uh, that's going to be the big game changer. But having you know, having said that, we will continue to go up, in my opinion, right? And I'm pretty comfortable sticking my neck out. Um, we have an extremely accommodative uh, Federal Reserve system uh, that's not only making sure that there's liquidity in a partially shut down economy. Um, they are competing with global Federal Reserve systems that are all competing against each other. So interest rates will stay extremely low for a foreseeable long amount of time, in my opinion. Uh, liquidity will be kept up by the Federal Reserve. We had an administration, both left and right sides of the aisle, that are extremely accommodative in terms of stimulus. Right? Everyone's paying for those votes with all these stimulus plans uh, that are coming out. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, like we talked about earlier in the podcast, what are people going to do with that cash coming in? Are they going to have it sitting right. in zero percent, zero percent yielding vehicles, or are they going to put it into the best stock market we've seen? Ever, right? I mean, it's not even comparable now. We're, we're past a decade of a bull market. Um, Apple just crossed $2 trillion in market cap, and it only took them two years to double from the first trillion-dollar company. And I think more than likely we'll see Microsoft, Amazon, and Google probably join the ranks of a $2 trillion market cap. You know, look at what they did to the Dow, Dow earlier this week. They completely revamped it, took out stalwarts like Exxon, and put in technology companies. Uh, technology is the new economy, and it's been solidified uh, with all these changes. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, what do you think about the discussion that's going on right now about inflation, though, that uh, has come up in the last two days or so? I mean, inflation is, you know, inflation is the problem when you have interest rates like the, at these levels. Um, it seems like it's somewhat in check in the longer term, but you know, it's, if, you, if, if the market is going to inflate, then you might as well have money in it because you want those, so those stock prices will inflate. Uh, if you have it sitting in cash, your cash becomes less valuable. Uh, if you have it in stocks, those stock prices will inflate with inflation, and you'll be pretty good. So, I mean, it's, it's just another argument to help, uh, you know, to, to, to further why I think the market will continue to go higher. Yeah, I agree. I, I think the market's going to go blast off until uh, until we know what happens in November. Um, mm -hmm. sure. It's going to it's really going to be an interest. You know, Anthony, I have to tell you that 2020 has been the most interesting year I think I've ever lived through. <laughs> with with all the things that have happened, it's just amazing. So, Anthony, so how many people get hold? How did people get a hold of Webull? So uh, our website is www.webull.com. Uh, you can uh, download our PC version of Webull 4.0. If you don't want to download anything to your PC, you can actually use a web version uh, of that as well. Um, you can also go to any app store, the iOS store or the Android store, and download our app. Uh, it is currently the number two most popular uh, app in the finance section, so it's hard to miss us. And um, you know, start your start your Weeble journey now. Well, Anthony, I really want to thank you very much for your time. Um, you always have some interesting uh, insight into what's going on, and uh, thank you, Mark. Thank you, and be healthy. Have a great day. Okay, see you later. This is Mark Stowers with Safe Day Trading. Talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I want to mention, too, that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.